the demo we have, it's called the Fayum region. Mm -hmm. It's about halfway through the, the main story, the main quest line. Uh, the reason we chose this area because we wanted, we knew by, by saying Egypt, the first thing people might think about the world is, is deserts. There's a lot of deserts. Oh, yeah. And there are. But the world is super lush, super exotic. There's a lot of, uh, there's a huge variety of landscapes. Uh, so we wanted to show off that Egypt is very diverse. And it, you know, it was halfway through the story, so there's not too much spoilers in there as well. Mm -hmm. That's why we chose this area. Sounds like a good spot. And we got to look at it earlier today. And yeah, it just opens up and there's this big lake and it's ringed by mountains. And uh, you get a lay of the land real easily with uh, your new friend. You've got yes. a literal eagle vision yes. to help you out. That's Senu? Senu, yes. Senu is very useful. Um, so for sure, by having a bird's eye view of a location, uh, we're able to tag enemies, tag opportunities, uh, scout the land from a literal bird's eye view. Mm -hmm. um, of course, everything can be done without Senu, but it's less efficient, obviously. What we wanted to show off is uh, the world, the AI, uh, is living in this world. Mm -hmm. So from fishermen on their felucas, going fishing, taking their goods back to the ports, uh, to military patrolling on smaller boats, but also giant triremes. Mm -hmm. uh, and these areas uh, uh, hold a lot of opportunity for players. So of course, finding military weapons, finding crafting uh, materials, uh, but also quests take place there. The game launches on October 27th on PS4, PS4 Pro, Xbox, PC, and of course it's a launch title for Xbox uh, One X. We, we still have a bit of time, we're still mm -hmm. finishing this game, we have a bit of work to do, but, uh, but it's almost there, the experience is really coming together.